I'm also a big believer in fulfilling every man's fantasy, which is to have two women in bed. That is every man's fantasy, Anne. That's right, Anne. On holidays and Sundays, when my husband comes home, he opens the bedroom door and gets this special treat. Hi, Hi honey. honey. Well, I guess I should have tried having threesomes for my husband, because guess what, Anne? What, Anne? My husband wants a divorce. Gee, Anne, I'm sorry to hear that. Was it something you did wrong? Have you given yourself a personal inventory? I've tried. Have you expressed any anger toward him? God, no, Anne. God, no. <laughs> Gee, Anne, I just sense some anger in your response toward me. What am I going to do, Anne? I want to be a good wife. Anne, it means more than wanting. It, it means working. But I do work, Anne. I work to the bone. I work to the marrow. Have you ever tried marijuana? No, Anne, but I'm desperate. I'll try anything. So Anne, this is a bong. First you fill it up with cold water. Sometimes I add a drop of peppermint oil to add a little freshness, a little taste to it. That's a great tip, Anne. Yeah. Um, now this one, in lieu of a carburetor, has a removable bowl. All right, let's bring you in a little closer. joining us yeah. for another edition of This Woman's Work. Um, join us. <laughs> yeah, um, thank you for joining us for another edition of This Woman's Work. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us, you guys. Back in the lunch. Next week on This Woman's Work, we can like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Next week, Next week on This Woman's Work, we discuss domestic issues that circle around pets in our lives, like Romeo here. Anne will show us her newly honed skills as pet psychic. She's been practicing. She took one of those extension courses at the junior college. How about we show the audience a preview of next week's episode? Excellent. Excellent! I sense that he seems distressed, hyper, and smelly. Oh, you're not smelly though. Because I don't like the smelly comment. That's what you're saying. I don't like the smelly comment. So it was, it's like part of my having to accept that my marriage is over is having to accept that my marriage sucked, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I hate that part. It's like, Part of it is like having to realize, you know what, it wasn't working for me either, even though I was willing to fake it for a lot longer than he was. Mm -hmm. And I know ultimately I may not have been able to, you know, keep it up, but I sure was going to fucking try.